Hello Internet, today is still Monday, January 25th, and I am going to review Cash Out. Uh, some of you will like what I'm about to say, some of you will be informed by what I'm about to say, some of you will not like what I'm about to say. First things first, let me see if I just get this right here. You see that glare? When you're watching this DVD, get used to it. Uh, the video production on this um, I wouldn't say is absolutely horrible, uh, but it is amateurish at best. Now, this is just the video. I'm not talking about the effect or anything like that. Uh, Will has decided to film the video, and, and let's let's get things straight first of all. Uh, it's a bill change. We all know there's something involved. It's a magic trick. There's no such thing as real magic, so there is something involved which you are going to need to construct at home. It's easy to make. I've watched the video. It's easy to do. Um, and uh, there's a good chance that 99.9999% of the entire world, unless you're living in the middle of uh, you know the jungle in Borneo somewhere, will have the ability to gather the materials very easily that you need in order to make this gimmick. Uh, so on that note, you know, kudos to Will for making this easy. But in, like I said, his infinite wisdom to to film the construction of this gimmick in such a, a manner that causes this glare to constantly flash in the camera is, is absolutely ridiculous. It's so bad that every time he moves the materials around, the I guess the automatic white balance or, or the automatic settings in his camera are changing constantly. And, and as a result, like you're, you're getting what can only be described as, as what seems like a, a spotlight being you know put on a certain spot, then taken away, put on another spot, and then taken away. Uh, and it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely painful to watch. Um, and I I get the feeling as well that the compression used in this DVD was a little on the high side. This is not a long video. We're talking like 30 minutes at tops, including all the other stuff that comes with it. Uh, so on a regular DVD, this thing like sh this thing should have been superior quality. But every time this this camera changes its focus or its white settings or its white balance or contrast or whatever the hell it's doing. You get some artifacting that is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, like in our artifacting, for those that you guys that don't know, if you're watching like a low quality like web video or something like that, it's those big squares that appear when there's a whole lot of motion. Uh, the video quality just isn't there, and that's due to, to mainly due to compression of either the camera or the software used to encode the video on and put it onto a DVD. I'm going to assume it's a little bit of both, because everything else uh, that that he uses in this video like the 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 menus and things like that it's it's great quality like you know, uh let's see i got nothing up there let me see if i can show this to you you know like it's good quality it's it's fantastic quality like i i can't argue the quality of what's going on here but the quality of of the construction phase of the actual gimmick itself uh is it, it's 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 poor it's poor at best uh, and, and that's just the, the, that part of the video. Also, uh, now Will is not a native English speaker, and it's apparent. His, his grasp of the English language is excellent. I'll, I'll admit it 100%. Uh, however, he's not a very loud or outspoken person. His voice is a little subdued. And as a result, he's killed himself by putting this constant soundtrack in the back that is just horrible. Let me hear. I'm going to turn this on here. Imagine hearing that throughout the entire teaching and spoken segments of the, of the video. It's ridiculous! Now, it does get muted a little bit, but try try imagining hearing a soft-spoken Asian gentleman over this! It's impossible! I actually found myself rewinding segments trying to figure out what the heck he just said. And for, for a video that is primarily visual in its teaching aspects, that's just unacceptable. I'm sorry. 100% unacceptable. The guy should have gotten some friends or some magicians or anybody to review this before he actually produced it. And and if he did, someone should have pointed that out to him because if they didn't, I'm sorry. The guy who reviewed this to, before they they sent it for production should have been smacked in the back of the head something fierce. It's just it's absolutely wrong. Wrong for the video, wrong for the teaching segment. You can have music, you can have background noise because there really at times there is just a lot of silence, so it's good to have, you know, something to, to know that your audio is still working on your video player. But to have the audio of the music drown out the spoken segments is, is purely unacceptable, 100% unacceptable in this day and age. And those two things combined, the audio and the video, 
lead me to believe that this guy he did it entirely himself he had no help it was probably like you know uh you know like a home studio or like a sheet draped on a wall like i'm not sure how he did it but it's i guarantee you he did it with himself or just with one other person uh because it's just there's no there's n absolutely no way that those two things would have gotten past the professional uh so based upon the quality of the video itself just the, the audio and the video i gotta give this thing like a four to a five um, a four and a half. Let's do four to a five. Let's go for four and a half. And that's just the quality. Now I'm comparing it to all the other music, magic videos I've seen out there. The quality of them, and uh, and that's what I'm comparing it to. I've seen really good stuff and I've seen really poor stuff. Now this isn't as, isn't as bad as the poor stuff I've I've seen, but I'm I'm just giving you uh, an idea of how upset I am with this. Uh, secondly, the teaching site the the. You you know everything you get everything you need to know about the construction segment of this thing, the teaching segment. Oh my God. Spends about maybe uh, almost two thirds of the video telling you how to make what you need. Spends thirty seconds telling you how to use it. What the hell? I'm sorry. Nothing is that self-explanatory. And after watching the video. I guarantee you, it's not self-explanatory. Uh, so I've actually sent a, an email out to Will asking, like, what the heck happened? Because there's things in, in the construction phase that he says, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. And then when you get to the teaching phase, it's like, just do this. Poof. And all those things he told you to pay attention to, he doesn't even mention. It's like, did you forget that we don't know how to use this trick? Like, unbelievable. Uh, so, so based upon the teaching segment... The, the less than 30 second teaching segment, I have to give this a two. Like, I'm sorry, this is, it's ridiculous. Now, there are those of you out there who will be able to struggle through the, the, the construction, the noise, the audio, the video, and the teaching, and be able to pull this off. And, and the one thing that is, that is I would say, uh, lackluster with this, is this, it's not really a trick, it's an introduction to other things. Uh, no trick should last more, like start from start to finish, last less than 15 seconds. Uh, it, there's just not enough time to process anything. However, you could use this to go into something like serial builder or another bill switch or, or a build exchange or something like that. So it's a perfect, it's a perfect introduction to more mat money magic. By itself, it doesn't stand. I'm, I'm sorry. And I know the guys at Illusionist are going to shoot me for this, but this For those of you who have imagination, skill, and the perseverance, I, I would say buy this because you can go places with this. You can take this, use it, and enhance everything else that you do with your money magic if you're into money magic. For the guy who's looking at this and saying, wow, that's cool, let me do that. You're, you're getting at most 15 seconds worth of, of magic that may or may not go unnoticed. Uh, Will actually says, you know, like, pull the money out of your wallet, change it, and then go spend it. That's only works with people looking at your wallet, man. So, uh, I honestly, I, I don't want to bash it because I myself, I see the potential for this. I see how this can be used. I see how I can use this. And, and I'm fairly certain that there are those of you out there that will be able to take this and run with it and go places. Uh, it's, it's visual, highly visual, extremely visual. I saw the demo for this. I'm like, good Lord, what's happening here? That's magic. Um, uh, but the effect, like as you're watching the video, the effect is killed by the, the teaching segment. Um, and it's just, that's unacceptable, guys. Unacceptable. Will, I'm sorry, dude. Like, maybe like if I get a better explanation or if cash out 2.0, that might be a good time to revamp it, you know. Th then I might be able to change my mind. But uh, in the long run, uh, for most of you, I don't think this is a this is a buy. I don't think it's a buy. Like I said, for those of you who have the imagination and the ability to run with a product and and fly and go places, then then yeah, I would think that this is for you. And you know what? I'm actually going to stop here, gather my thoughts, and then continue on more about this because I'm approaching the nine minute and thirty mark anyway. So this is actually looks like it's going to be a two part video uh, for me anyways. So hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> 